The streets of Iran echo to the sound of collective fury as a popular rebellion enters its fourth consecutive month. The public are trying to break with the past, but their clerical rulers are determined to preserve it, and their methods have become increasingly violent. Some are beaten, others are shot, and several protesters, convicted of waging war against God, have been executed. Amongst those facing the death penalty is a professional footballer called Amir Nazar Azadani. Prosecutors say the 26-year-old is a militant, trying to overthrow the state. But his friends say that's ridiculous. Yeah, Amir was one of the young guys at the time in, in our squad, and he was like 19, 20 years old at the time. Um, quite quite the sh shy person, but really, really kind and, um, let's say, respectful towards the, uh, all the players in the, in the team. This is Sebastian Strandval in action for top flight Finnish side VPS Varsa. But in 2015, he spent the season in Tehran, where he got to know Nazir Azadani. It was a really big shock when I sort of, or when I read about the news about him. Yeah. How, did, how did you feel about it? It feels so far from reality, it's so surreal feeling, you know, that someone might be facing a death sentence for for participating in peaceful protests. When the young Iranian found himself without accommodation, Stranval let him sleep on his sofa. The pair became firm friends. Him and his friends would uh, stand up for basic human rights, for women's rights, of course, because he's a person who cares about other people. But I, I don't see, see him like doing war on God. Top Iranian footballers on the country's national side have been engulfed by the crisis and were roundly criticised by many for playing in the World Cup. When the so-called regime team lost its final match to the US, people took to the streets to celebrate. But these scenes of jubilation angered the authorities. A 22-year-old called Farzan was reportedly shot as he celebrated Iran's exit from the tournament. His father brought a cake to the gravesite to honor his birthday, a date his son would never see. Amir Nazir Azadin is one of dozens of protesters who now face the death penalty. And a German MP, Andreas Larum, has taken up his case a desperate mission, this, to keep him alive. He should know that, that we, we stand with him and, um, and that we really force on every side where we can to get him out and his, and his friends being also in the prison, get out of that, of that situation. And um, I would like to see him and to meet him in Germany. People of influence will be targeted as the clerics try to salvage their regime. But they have already lost many of their citizens. John Sparks, Sky News.